Naomi. We're just a couple of kids chasing a dream. At the end of the day, that's what everybody is that's doing this, right? Hi guys, so I am going for a kid's birthday party with my husband and I am fully dressed now, we are almost ready. I was going to put on this red outfit that I so love. Let me show you guys what it looks like. My tripod broke and it's been talk of what to do anything on this camera. I just have to drop it on the ground, try to position it. Um, Okay, I hope I can show you guys this. <laughs> this looks awkward. Oh. <laughs> That's what the outfit looks like. I love it and I know that Hobby loves it as well. But I'm just wondering if I'll be comfortable because the sun is sunning today. The sun is hot and you know just the fact that I have to wear a waist trainer and it's long sleeve. I'm not just feeling very very comfortable. I think I'll pull it off and change to maybe a jean and a top sleeveless actually oh i know how they love this outfit so i don't even want him to see it before i pull it off so that it will now convince me to be uncomfortable for today it's a kids party so comfort is very important what i'm going to wear is just like a regular regular day outfit nothing special meanwhile i love this shade and it's giving i've been eyeing this shade for over a year but for some reasons i didn't get to buy it so Shades are like the least expensive way to level up your look. Um, if you want to look put together, just put on shade on even a regular outfit. It just takes it from basic to classic. This is what I have. Okay, so this is what I have. So yeah, I'm way more comfortable with this. The sun is hot. It's currently about 2 p.m. Party starts at 2 p.m. so we'll be on our way soon. Let's go as Nigerian time. So the kids are excited and we're ready to move, 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 move. And today okay. is about we have a mini, a mini upcoming vlogger here. Yes, yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you kidding me? Can we stay here? Forever From generation to generation Passed down through every age There's a story of a savior Whose love will never change All creation will bow before him Every tongue will praise his name Until the day he comes again We will say you are worthy Am I the only one that feels a little awkward talking to the camera when people are here, especially my husband? I realize it's not just about who I'm with. I'm the one that needs to still work on camera confidence. It's like a, a broadcaster saying, uh -huh, I'm shy, I can't talk to the crowd and all that. Or um, a marketer saying, mm, I can't talk to people, I, can't, I don't want them to see me, I'm so shy and all that. So, it's really not about the people, right? It's you being comfortable with what you're doing and doing it shamelessly. Life has been life in. <laughs> I've heard people say this a lot, but I think I fully understand what it means that life is life in. It's not that life is bad or anything. For instance, I have been struggling so much with being consistent online, putting up content, especially on Instagram. I don't know what it is with that app. I'm just feed this polo. Putting up content it has just been so tiring, even for business, and that is really not good for me. So I'm just trying to get back on track. It's been longer, even vlogged. I have backlogs of vlogs that I need to work on editing putting it up i haven't just been there mentally and every other thing in my physical life is okay but you see online presence youtube channel and everything i don't know what has been going on 
so this is me still trying to motivate myself to at least vlog today so we are going for a birthday party we are now at the venue let me release the children so that we can get going one hour late Mama, we in the birthday party. yes we are there boy <laughs> Shall we continue? Yes. Are you a red Oh, you want to take pictures? Are you a red and continue. Oh. Hi guys, good morning. It's a Saturday morning. Mom, <coughs> I hope you can hear me. Okay. No, you are resting. So, <coughs> I'm out with the boys to ride. I'm not riding, I'm walking. I'm in the best of places right now, like... I'm exhausted. My nose has been blocked since yesterday. You know that place where you are not just in the mood. It's as if you are sick. Meanwhile, you are not. You is not malaria and all those kind of things. So that's how I feel this morning. In fact, that's the reason why I decided. Okay, this morning, rather than doing house chores in house, let's come out and you know have some fun. The children love riding bicycle, and since the holiday ended i'm not sure we've been out like this just walking on the street it's barely 8 a.m but it's already sunny i love it we made a quick stop at the playground yes brian won't you climb the slide I am going to have my hair cut and I am trying out a new salon. The one I usually use for some reasons, I I don't know, I've been sending them messages and they've not been replying on time. And the last time I passed through there, they actually were doing some renovation work. So I don't know if they've started back up or not. Coupled with the fact that the style I wanted to do that I sent to them the last time, they didn't get it or they said they could not do it after I got it. Guys, long story short, I'm kind of discouraged and I'm trying out a new salon that people have been recommending on a business page, Business City Business. I contacted them on Instagram and they were 
not the now the person operating the page i think is the owner of the business he said he won't be around till wednesday by the way today is monday and it's a public holiday and i just felt this is the best time for me to go i asked him if he would have workers there that can attend to me and he said yes he would so i have decided to go guys quick gist prior to now i have been making an itabeka the front will be high the side will be low but not low low so basically i haven't cut my hair completely as I, I, I always have like a large volume of hair on my head i like it but i am doing it mainly because my husband does not want me to completely cut my hair like he likes it when i still have some hair hair on my head but guys we have a misunderstanding and he's acting up and i am acting up as well i am deliberately acting up <sighs> so well i am playing along this time and I'm acting up as well and I'm going to tint my hair yes he doesn't also want me to tint my hair but this time I'm going to tint my hair so I have been checking out this particular page I checked some of their style I love the way they tint hair see I don't have anything against tinted hair at least not yet but we discussed before and they didn't want me to be tinting my hair and, and I thought of it that really um, as a Christian if my children grow up and they start tinting their hair will I, will I be happy and the answer was no. How will I not like my children to have tinted hair? But I like it. Like. Anyway, I'm still going to tint my hair this time. Okay? Whatever wants to happen should happen. And I am just... Because I'm pissed off. It's even funny that I'm talking about it here. Because who talks about these things, guys? But this is the reality of it. 99% of the time we are cool and happy. But sometimes we see half that was a 99 let me give it 90 percent no it's not like nine percent no so less than 90 percent of the time everything is fine at home and but these days i've always found a way to channel whatever is happening around me into working like converting it to positive energy like so i have decided to be doing things that will make me happy this period and one of it is getting this hair cut tinting it and looking good this morning as i was leaving the house i did my makeup and i wore one of his favorite clothes he loved this on me we use this for our photo shoots wedding pre-wedding photo shoots and he even bought it for me it's fitted body con dress i had to wear a waist trainer to hold things in the waist together you know i'm no longer the way i was but it's, it has like a very stretchy fabric so it fits so i wore it and you know it, it came out of the house looking good and ooh, that was intentional that was intentional <laughs> see guys i'm sure you, you might never have seen this part of me I, I i don't know it's just so i think we are missing this quality <laughs> I took like one ad right here. I don't think I'm coming back here. It's too far. This is Country Home Hotel or is it Motel Road? But this place, I was just going in here, corner here, corner. Here. I was following the direction of Google Map. I don't know. At some point, I felt maybe Google Map is misdirecting me because it happens sometimes here. But we are here, and I can see that we are here actually. But let me try opening the door when I took open because this is looking too quiet. taking my leave now this is what we're looking like i must say that they got the style correctly like of course i lifted it up their page this is not the my first choice so when i showed them the first one i wanted to make they were like our bus is not around and all that so i allowed them stay in their comfort zone and this is what 
so short hair tinted yeah i like it two things though that will not make me come back here i need to put on my google map now so that i won't get lost hmm? this place is so far from where i am so like i said am i going here and there two things anyways that uh, i'm not likely to come back <laughs> one the distance this place is so far from where i stay my first salon haircut salon is actually far too but it's nowhere as far away as this this is just out of my it's out of my dick secondly the price is on the high side this is like times three of what i will have paid normally that's why the fact that they claim they gave me a discount i think it's just way above what i budget for my haircut imagine having to pay three times what i pay usually like seriously i'm not coming back no way no way so with this one for instance I, I can buy extension make braids still with the money i used to cut this hair i just didn't want to go back because i felt like why come this far just to not do what you came here to do that was the reason why i told them to continue otherwise it's i pray i don't get lost on my way back i pray so pray for me guys pray seriously turn on the news the other day some stuff happened, I'm afraid to say I can't believe the world today How can this be? Land of the free home of the free I am home now, the ride was smooth Google map actually took me through another route that was faster But I think I know what happened, I was just being stubborn <laughs> So it was not as far away as it was when I was going, it was another route. I'm just popping in here to round up this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, please drop a comment in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly do that. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Okay, bye.